Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our 9 a.m. prayer call. This is our 32nd prayer call. Well, actually, it's beyond the 32nd one, but this is the 32nd recorded prayer call. This is our Thursday 9 a.m. prayer call. I want to thank everybody for joining in, listening, watching. Glory to God this morning. Uh, we're going to be coming from our, our foundational point, like our foundational scripture for this morning is going to be psalms 20 but that's also going to be our prayer point for this morning that's what the lord said it is for today so we'll be coming from psalms 20 if you're taking notes but i do want to give announcements in case this is someone's first time on the line so the youtube channel if you're watching this right now you're watching it on youtube channel even though i do have a prayer line number that you guys can call in what i do is for those that are not able to call in i upload it on the channel as well so you guys can get the replay so I just want to go over some announcements and we'll get into the word. And guys, don't mind me. It's been raining. So glory to God. So this channel has 305 videos. They are compiled into different playlists. And I'm going to give you guys the playlist. I'm going to give you guys what we're doing with this channel. Uh, we have a Q&A playlist. We have a Relate, Relax, Release playlist. We have a Blessed to Be a Blessing playlist playlist walks and creative hours playlist there's also the prayer calls which you're listening to now has a playlist so you can go back and listen to calls 1 through 31 if you missed it or if you want to go back and check it out there's a thank you to the subscribers playlist there's a new bible study with care series for the end of 2018 to 2019 uh, playlist there's a free flow questions playlist there's a rawness and relevation relevation <laughs> revelation sorry playlist there's a red light green light playlist um if you like the prayers and the different things there's i do have a playlist for prayers it's different from prayer calls but it's prayers um we have a joseph series playlist we have a david series playlist my boutique which i tell often joke and tell you guys my first youtube video if you go back was um a upload of my boutique products at the time which is out february it's going to be two years so we have a playlist for that and then God tricked me into, but God is so good. He gets the glory. There's an encouragement series playlist. There's a stop dining with the devil playlist. There are some soul session playlists, a February 2018 morning prayer, and then a 66 Bible. We did a 66 day Bible study challenge early this year. So you guys go and check out those playlists. Share the videos that are blessing to you because if it's blessing you, I'm sure it'll bless someone else. And then we're going to get into the About tab. I'm just going over quickly announcements, especially if this may be someone's first time listening. So you guys can kind of know what's going on with the channel. A lot of times I tell you guys to go to the About tab. I'm not sure who all does it. So I'm just feeling led to tell you guys what we're doing so you guys can know for those that don't know. So you can email me. My email is lovecare243 at yahoo.com. You can email me if you want to, you know, request prayer. I'm big on that. You can go throughout the, the videos on this channel and see that. Glory to God. Big on prayer. Um, praying for you guys, interceding for you guys. If you want to, you know, share a praise report. I get so many emails and testimonies of how this channel and this ministry has been a blessing to people. A lot of times I don't share them. I give glory to God. Sometimes when he tells me to, I do. But so many people are blessed by this. You can email me for that. If you want to share how a video or this channel has helped you. You can email me to be signed up on a daily devotional list. That's Monday through Sunday. You get a word. You get blessed. You get encouraged. You get enriched. You get uh, a lot of other men and women of God videos. You get songs. You get quotes. You get scriptures. We have a Bible verse of the day. We have daily decrees and declares. There's so many things that go with that. You're getting it every day. In addition to this video, you're getting it Monday through Sunday. Every day you're getting additional encouragement. Um, you guys can sign up for movie night. I think we're on week like 16 or 17 of movie night. Yeah, like 15 to 17 or something. We've been doing movie night for a couple months now. Sign up for that if you want to. Um, it's a fun way for us to interact and come together. Uh, if you need a Bible, you or someone that you know needs a Bible, I ship those out for free. That's something that I've been doing now um, on this channel that the Lord has instructed me to do from the summertime of this year. So that's what we've been doing. And I ship it out for free. You can email me for that. Also, if you or someone that you know needs non-perishable items, you need groceries that's not going to spoil, like I could ship in the in the mail. You know, they're going to be good for a amount of time. You need hygiene products, personal products like deodorant or, you know, sanitary pads or, you know, clothing, things like that. 
email me. It's for free. I'll ship it to you, especially in the U.S., you know. And then for those that want to sign up for the Girls Talk, you can sign up. So there's a lot of things that we're doing here. You guys that want to sew or donate, you can cash out me, PayPal me. You guys, check out my website, Mosh Boutique, Love K, LK3.com. I was going to say Love Cure because that's my Instagram name and my book name, but it's LK3. And then there's this prayer line, right? So you're catching on the replay, but I really would like you guys to be calling in because I don't know how long I'm going to be uploading them to the channel. I mean, I've, I know I've been doing it the last couple of months, but I really want you guys to join in, right? So call in the line if you can call in. It's The number is 1641-715-0857. The code is 252851. I want you guys to call in. If you can't call in, at least submit your prayer request. Or leave them underneath these videos. So I'm not sure how long we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna be uploading these videos with the prayer line, but I'm I'm being obedient for this season to do that. And if you can't call in, at least download the free FCC HD app. And then the last note that I want to say before we get into our prayer points and our reading for today for this video is that Bible study packets are available. Um, there are a few people that requested it and they got the packets. Um, if you guys go back and check out the new Bible study with Kira, we've been we're on we're doing Bible study right now. Right now we're on X. We this is our like sixth one that we've done so far. We're just gonna keep every month we're reading the Bible together. We're coming together reading. So those Bible study packets are available. So I just wanted to say that. Also want to thank all the subscribers, everybody that shares the videos, likes, comments, um, that is encouraged by this. I really want to thank you guys and tell you guys that I appreciate you. And that I love you guys. Good morning. Who just called in? This is Grace. Hi, Grace. Good morning. Before we get into the um the word, do you have any prayer requests? Yes, I do have a prayer request. Okay. Um, I just want to keep praying for. So I'm currently attending your church, and I don't know. It's it's a really. I used to. I'm actually Catholic, mm -hmm. and then I kind of born again so I, I'm attending uh, this really really small church I go there for Bible study uh -huh. and then for prayer services on Sundays but I don't know that for some reason the pastor is a little bit a little bit manipulative to be honest so I don't know I'm feeling some kind of way like I don't just want to leave but I, I know nobody is perfect but it's just really strange like I've just been getting this really uneasy feeling about going there Okay, that's the Holy Spirit speaking to you, Grace. Um, and we did start recording on um the line, so this is recorded. We're gonna be praying for you. I'm praying for you and those that's catching this on the replay. I feel like that's Holy Spirit telling you to move. If you're feeling manipulation, manipulation is not of God. God is not a God of mind control or mind numbness or manipulation. Manipulation often can lead to witchcraft and all that stuff. And God is showing you those things. He's trying to protect you or keep you from something or whatever is about to fall on that church. And also, we're going to be praying for them that they repent or he repent. But if God is telling you to leave, it's better for you to be like Paul right now in this season, Grace. Be like Paul and choose God over man. So don't worry about what they're yeah, going to say or think, think you know. Like, he's saying things like, you know, for you to leave a church, God has to... I've never heard that, but is, is that true? That for you to leave a church, God actually has to release you to leave a church and that your blessings are tied to the church? Like, I've never heard that. Like, it's so manipulative. It is manipulative. Now, in some situations when God has called you to go and sit up underneath a man or woman of God or sit up underneath the church that's different. Then if God says, okay, it's your season to move, God will lead you and tell you it's your season to move. You know, but if God is showing you that there's manipulation, he's telling you that he's not, he's not in that. He's not there. He wants you to go. He's trying to protect you. So you want to go where, where God is, not where man is, where man's pride is. We're going to be praying for them too. You want to go where, where God is, especially for this, season for your life i would just say leave leave in peace but you need to go yeah because people will use okay. scripture twist scripture and that's not what god has for you you're welcome we're going to be praying for you right now with that lord in jesus name we ask that you move grace supernaturally father god we thank you for showing her the warning signs we come against the spirit of manipulation we come against people twisting your the doctrine and the word father god we come against that we pray for them god that that man of god or whoever that is that they will repent and not play around with your word or not manipulate 
your house, God, for their own gain or glory, Father God. So we thank you for leading and guiding her to the place that you have for her that's going to be surrounded with a man or woman of God that can speak life into her and what she needs in this season where she'll be able to grow and where the Holy Spirit is really there, Father God. So we thank you for a smooth transition, and we just thank you, God, for giving her peace and showing her what you're showing her, Lord. Speak Psalms 91 in the blood of Jesus over her, God. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. So guys, Psalms 20 today is where we're going to be coming from. I'm, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to read Psalms 20 and then we're going to break it down and claim it as our own for our prayer points. So Psalms 20 says, and Grace, um, if you have any anything else to say, please let me know. But I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to mute the background noise. But if you have anything else, um, just unmute. You can hit um, star six. I believe it's star six. Okay. Okay. One, one more thing that I just had to add was please check out the uh, the Bible study that I did with Pastor Ray. Um, that was to God let's touch and agree with you and even as you were saying that I just hear the word refreshing like refreshing like God is giving you refreshing just like he did it with Naomi in the book of Ruth so Lord we just thank you God that as she father God is is um surrendering to you father God is in a release we thank you for refreshing her like you did with Naomi in the book of Ruth we thank you for moving for her like you did with Ruth and Naomi in the book of Ruth. Father God, we thank you that in your divine time and your divine season, you will release her Boaz. We thank you, God, that Isaiah 54 is her portion, Father God. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. 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 You. Amen. You're welcome. God says you're going to be found well in your season of waiting. Right? So I encourage you to read that Isaiah 54 because um, it does talk about you know, the Lord being your husband and the different other benefits and blessings of that. So we just release that over you in Jesus name. We do pray. Amen. All participants are muted and they can unmute themselves. Okay. So I just muted it guys, just so um, we can begin to read Psalms 20, but grace, if you need to unmute, you can just hit star six. So Psalms 20 guys is our, our point for today. I'm just going to read one. I'm just going to read them. So verse one says, may the Lord answer you when you are in distress. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. Verse two, may he send you help from the sanctuary, right from the church and grant you support from Zion. Three, may he remember all your sacrifices and accept your burnt offering. Salah, interlude, pause, let's meditate on that. So four, may he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. And guys, whichever ones are for you, just receive it and hold on to it. I always try to tell you guys, whatever words of the Lord are for you, just claim it. Amen. So five says, we will shout for joy when you are victorious and will lift up our banners in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your requests. Six, now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He answers him from his holy heaven with the saving power of his right hand. Seven, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord, our God. Verse eight says they are brought to their knees and fall, but we rise up and stand firm. Nine says, oh, Lord, save the king. Answer us when we call. So, Lord, we stand on this Psalms 20. We're believing this for our families, our situations, our circumstances, our right now seasons in life. God, we thank you that Psalms 20 is our portion. In Jesus name, we do pray. Amen. And now we're going to decree and declare together and take it verse by verse. Amen. So Psalms 20 verse one, we're going to decree. May the Lord answer you. May the Lord answer me. May the Lord answer us. Let's make it personal. May the Lord answer me when I am in distress. May the name of the God of Jacob protect me. Not only are we claiming this in this season of our life that we are right now, but we're claiming this for the rest of our life until God calls us into eternity. Amen. We're claiming this for our households. According to Joshua 24, 15, as for us in our house, we are going to serve the Lord. We're claiming this for our family members. We're claiming this. 
Amen. So we're claiming that the Lord will answer us when we are in distress, when we're going through, when we're going through hard times, trials, tribulations, we're in distress. God is going to answer us. God is not going to leave or abandon us. God is going to hear our cries to him. God is going to answer us and may the name of the God of Jacob protect us. See, he told us the God of Jacob because he's a covenant keeping God. Going back to that Genesis, you know, he's the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Glory to God this morning. So the covenant keeping God has a covenant with us. We are of that seed. Amen. And we have covenant relationship with him through the blood of Jesus Christ. So our God will protect us. Our God will protect me. Our God will protect you. Our God will protect us. Amen. So now verse two, may he send you help from the sanctuary, from the church, from the body of Christ, from the bride and grant you support from Zion. Come on. God is sending me help. God is sending you help. God is sending us help. Those that may listen to this are those who stand in the gap for he's sending us help from the sanctuary and granting us support from Zion. So not only are we going to be helped, but we're going to be supported. God is going to send the support that we need along the way. He's going to send the help that we need along the way. He's not going to leave us or forsake us. We're not going to be alone. You know, those that look to God are radiant. God makes his face to shine upon us. This is going back to that number six and also going back to the Psalms. I believe it's either it's Psalms 30 something. When David said, I've never seen a righteous forsaken, nor their seed begging bread. I think it's Psalms 34, Psalms 37. So that's the second point. So let's go to number three. May he remember all your sacrifices and accept your burnt offerings. Salah. So that's back then with the sacrifices and the burnt offerings. But in the modern day time, it's talking about may he remember your tithes. May he remember your offerings. May he remember your gifts. May he remember your kindness to others. May he remember the times that you were a blessing. May he remember the times that you gave to his church, to his bride. May he remember all the things, all the offerings, all the sacrifice, all the praise, everything that you gave to him. Right? So we're decreeing, declaring that the Lord is remembering my sacrifices. He's remembering your sacrifices. He's remembering our sacrifices unto him. He's accepting our burnt offerings. Amen. And we can pause on that and, and salah and meditate on that because we know that it's already done. And we know that God is doing it. It's as, it's as like a sweet uh, smelling incense before his nostrils. Amen. So four. May he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. Come on, we're going to claim this. Let's speak it in, in, in faith. God is giving me the desire of my heart. Right? Because as you're found in God's will, as you're found in him, seeking him, acknowledging him, you want the things that God wants. So don't you know that God wants to release what he has for you, what he has for me, what he has for us? So God is... Is giving us the desire of our heart and God is making all our plans succeed. Amen. So let's go to five. We will shout for joy when you are victorious and will lift up our banners in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your requests. So as we're interceding, as we're banding together, standing together, praying with one another, standing with one another, you know, all those things coming together, just like we're reading about in the book of Acts. We're shouting for joy. Because we are victorious. We're shouting for joy because we win. We know we have the victory through the blood in the name of Jesus Christ. We know that we're victorious. Right? I can celebrate for you. You can celebrate for me. We can celebrate for our other brothers and sisters in the faith. Because we know that we're victorious. We're going to have the joy. Right? The joy of the Lord is our strength. According to Nehemiah 8.10. Come on. We're going to lift up our banners in the name of our God. I don't know if you guys remember. But we did some videos some time back. Talking about the different names of God. And that he was a, a banner. Amen. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord grant all your requests. That's going back to that Psalms 34 or Psalms 37. Amen. So let's go to six. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. You're his anointed. I'm his anointed. He's going to save us. He answers him from his holy heaven with the saving power of his right hand. Come on. That one is for you. That verse six. I want you to stand on Zechariah 4, 6 through 10. You are anointed of God. You are beloved of God. God loves you. He's the Lord, your God. He's the Lord, my God. He knows how to answer you. He knows how to save you. This is something that God is going to do to get the glory. Amen. You may be in a situation or circumstance when you feel like you don't see a way out. Going back to our video before this video when we did Bible study this morning. The way that he was there for Peter, he'll be there for you. Amen. So we, but we trust, amen, with the same power as right hand. So seven. So some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord, our God. That's our declaration. Some people may trust in this power. Some people may trust in this system. Some people may trust in this thing. 
but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. Amen. So eight, they are brought to their knees and fall, but we rise up and stand firm. Come on, we're going to rise up. We're going to stand firm. We're blessed because we trust in the everlasting ancient almighty God. Alpha and Omega, beginning and end. Amen. Nine, O Lord, save the king. Answer us when we call in Jesus' name. So guys, that's going to conclude our prayer call for today. But I really hope that this was a blessing for you. Grace, thank you for calling and God bless you. Guys, stand on this Psalms 20. Stand on the scriptures. There's so many scriptures and different things that we talk about on these videos. You guys can go feel free to go back and listen to those or even just check out the description box or the comments. I often leave scriptures and different things to encourage you guys there. But I love you guys. I will be back on here tomorrow. Let me also announce, I announced in the video before this, but tomorrow our prayer call is not going to be on the line. Our prayer call is going to be on our faith walk. So tomorrow is going to be live instead of on the line. We're going to do our faith walk tomorrow. And you guys may catch the replay if you're on there. If you guys could just go on the live tomorrow morning, we're going to be doing that at 9 a.m. We'll do our faith walk at 9 a.m. And we'll be doing prayer requests in the word that way. And then we'll resume uh, next week with the regular prayer call. But God bless you guys. I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. Grace, you have anything you'd like to say before we close? Bye. Thank you. Bye. God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>